Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where since a few episodes we are struggling to get this set up, because uh, due to the low temperatures we need to have a cooling system based on petroleum, and that's not something that we have in abundance because the only source comes from here, a leaky oil fissure, which does not produce that much. Uh, and we want that hydrogen because we have a tiny bit of a uh, power issue. We are using coal to power our base because uh, this geyser 38 cycles still dormant and uh, that's basically the best source of, uh, of power at the moment. Um, what I was thinking we could do is maybe have a sweeper here. That should help with uh, with resupply of the of the coal, so that at least they run um, constantly. Um, maybe we also want to set it up like that. Um, Copy the settings from here. And as you might have guessed, uh, the generators are running, the batteries are empty, which is a clear indication that we are using all the power these two generators. 600 watt each can produce yet yeah, no tiny bit goes into the batteries but basically we are using all all the power there so yeah um, we also finally extended the level down here where we can see Yep, down here we do have some some magma going on, um, but we have not yet found any uh, uh, oil wells. So let's just dig here a bit around at the at the bottom. And hope we can find something because what's black here that looks like oil has actually liquid carbon dioxide. That's how cold it is. So maybe we can find something down there. Uh, if not, we do have a few oil fishes. So that's probably something we could also look into um, otherwise uh, maybe we should consider uh, going into uh, uh, what are these uh, these creatures that suck up the, uh, the carbon dioxide uh, slicksters they could produce oil for us as well, so uh, we will see what in which direction we have to, to go there. Um, question: Yeah, because we have the the suit line up here, it just does not get delivered.
this the uh, automation wire is in, uh, but this port is still missing. And here we have now two layers of petroleum in. We need a third one before we can uh, cover this up. Once we cover this up, we can break out the geyser itself and uh, start collecting uh, hydrogen for our generator. Not sure if uh, one is enough or if we could power more than one. We will figure that out as we go along. So hopefully we can stabilize uh, our, our asteroid, our our uh, domain a bit and have a more stable setup. Temperature wise in here this side now gets really warm it also gets a bit uh, over to this side course here we do not have any uh, any heat source uh, other than down here we have the, the, the rails where we ship the, the warm gold so uh, we use uh, the warm gold to uh, heat up our, our farm and then of course from this side uh, there we also get a bit of, uh, of worms but basically we have a barrier down here and it reaches our outer limit there so that's insulated uh, on top here uh, it's pretty pretty hot and looks like this door is not a good insulator but what what can we do about this looks like up here we finally get closer to our goal of having the third layer of uh, petrol petroleum in there and also on the other end of the map where we dug out a bit we have oil reservoir here we have something here what it is a minor volcano um, so small brother of this one not something we uh, really need that much. Um, let's dig more to this side and then here. Um, probably going down and up. and dig this part out so we have a bit of a basin uh, where we can collect the uh, oil and then pump it out. So that is probably the the next big project after uh, after this one, because from oil we can get a lot of energy, and uh, I'm thinking that's that's one of the the main goals of of this series here um, where we 
want to optimize our oil production because using the oil refinery to get petroleum and then pump that into a petroleum generator that's one way to do it but as we are down here close to a, to a heat source we can use that to heat up the, uh, the crude oil and if we have a look at elements liquids um, crude oil so crude oil turns to petroleum at around 400 degrees oh, and we could use pipe petroleum then directly in the generators but it's probably a bit difficult to separate separate the two liquids um, from from each other but if it gets even hotter we get sour gas and if the sour gas is then cooled down to uh, minus 160 162 we get methane and methane becomes natural gas um, and that's just playing with uh, temperatures and uh, I think with this setup with uh, uh, this cooling uh, heating up and uh, uh, cooling the gas uh, we can get loads of um, of energy out of that so let's dig out all of this for the oil well we also need clean water so that there we are at that end If we would have a, a water source close by, that would be helpful, I would think. Maybe somewhere in this area. Let's go. what's over there then we can, we can see and here we probably need a ladder reach that and while we are digging down there a bit Hopefully, we made more progress up here. Yeah, we are above 200 kilograms per tile. We need 740 ish uh, before we can close that one off. So, we are getting close to the mark where we want to be. So, I suggest uh, let's put in two tiles here and maybe until this is done we have the sufficient amount if it happens before we can always stop it right maybe add six here and meanwhile uh, I was observing our uh, food supply. It g is going down. It's 
slightly and our water level is also low and here we do not get enough water out of it so maybe we should think about taking a bit out of here to supply that then here on this side uh, we have something that we can investigate here is another minor volcano uh, which I am not interested in Let's think up here yeah there we have another oil oil reservoir and I think maybe that one for now is better suited for our uh, uh, power uh, supply because we can somehow uh, uh, go through here and also here we do have a bit of water so it's definitely things we want to do next time so then let's do this stop that and then we need a ladder here and then we dig all this out and make this priority seven here we are almost at the level that that we wanted to have uh, probably it's difficult to uh, get to the uh, exact number because that would probably mean that uh, we have spillage over uh, in order to get that sorted out. Then we also want to analyze that. currently of course it's dormant probably it's been active for the whole time while we were waiting for the petroleum here to uh, to collect Basically, this farm then is complete. All we would now need, or all that we need, is the uh, actual hydrogen. Because I think. Uh, oh. yeah, here we do have the vent that needs to go. And then we have to uh, hook up the, uh, the gas pipe. Because that goes all the way to our generator. Now that we have a vacuum in here, we actually want to pump if we have above 800. Because that would mean we can pump out. Uh, if we pump, we get a full package of hydrogen. Below. And I 
think we are nearly done here with the with the construction. Of course, the the, the analysis may take still a while. This pipe should go in. This floor should go in, and then really everything is set up and uh, and ready and this should cool nicely we have minus 30 degrees here um, that should be uh, cold enough to uh, bring down the the temperature of the hydrogen pretty fast because i imagine that we do not get huge amounts of gas out here, so if we have uh, uh, cool temperatures uh, and a large uh, volume of gas already at that temperature, um, uh, we will manage to cool down the small amount that comes in at higher temperatures. Pretty. And next time we will probably have to sort some things out and uh, think about how we can hook this up. Um, as you can see, uh, the last pieces here now also into place and um, the uh, analysis should be done. Soonish. But we need to uh, deconstruct this uh, this vent over here. So otherwise all our hydrogen would go out here that's uh, definitely not what we want yeah think we need to think a bit about power we do have a few um, water sources or water resources like this salt water geyser then down here somewhere uh, is a cool slush geyser that we could also uh, dug in um, let's take those eggs see what the uh, analysis uh, actually tells us about this uh, wind. How much longer we will have to wait before we get power from hydrogen. And so far, uh, if you look down here, you can see the batteries are charging, so it seems uh, we managed to uh, create enough enough power with coal to deal with that. But we are down to about 80 tons of coal, so in this episode we burned 10 tons, and what we have here. Um, oh, next activity, only 10 cycles of eight. That's not that bad. Uh, and we get almost half a kilogram per second um, for about a third of the, of the duration. Active period is 60%. Uh, that's not too bad and at that 
Uh, I think uh, we can we can leave it. Turn our attention to other problems next time. Until then, goodbye!